Today, let's look at this interesting number theory problem. In this video, I will give a bit of background of this problem. So here's a problem. Without using calculator, you are asked to prove 2 to the power of 32 plus 1 is divisible by 641. Please give it a try before you look at the answer. The number of the form 2 to the power of 2 to the power n plus 1 for every non-negative integer n was suggested by Fermat. And now we call it as a Fermat's number. Note that uh, f0 is equal to 3, f1 equals to 5, f2 is equal to 17, and f3 equals to 257. And for f4, it is a little bit complicated because this is 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 4 plus 1, that is 65537. People have shown that these are all prime numbers. And Fermat conjectured that all numbers in this form are all primes. And it's easy to see that when n increase, fn increase exponentially. It is quite difficult to figure out whether fn is prime without using calculator. However, Euler showed that f5, which is 2 to the power of 32 plus 1, the number that we want to consider in this question, is not a prime number and is divisible by 641. He also showed that, in general, fn is divisible by k times 2 to the power of n plus 1 for some integer k. With this, Fermat's conjecture is not correct. And now they even conject that other than f0, f1, up to f4 are prime numbers, the rest of the formal numbers are not prime. So this is a brief of the history of this question. Now return back to this question. The number that we consider is 2 to the power of 32 plus 1. So we may start from 2 to the power of 8, which is 256. In fact, we do not need to use this. We will use 2 to the power of 16, which is equal to 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 6 and equals to 1024 times 64. Uh, note that we wish to prove that 2 to the power of 32 plus 1 is divisible by 641, and 641 equals to 640 plus 1. So if we let a to be 64, then 10a then equals to 640, which will concurrent to negative 1 mod 641. And we'll use this result again and again. Let's continue. 2 to the power of 16, is 1020 plus 4 times 64. So it will be 1020 times 64 plus 4 times 64. For all this calculation, we wish to obtain 640 somewhere. And as shown, it is congruent to 102 times 640 plus 256, which is congruent to 102 times negative 1 plus 256. And therefore, 2 to the power of 16 is congruent to 154 mod 641. Now for the number 154, and the square of this number is the square of 14 times square of 11. 14 square is 196 and 11 square is 121. Using a equals to 46, we know that 196 can be written as 3a plus 4, and 121 can be written as 2a minus 7. Expand this expression and we get the following. The whole idea for the calculation is to obtain 10a in some way. So let's continue. Now we have a times 6a minus 13 minus 28. By saying a equals to 64, 6a minus 13 is 371. 37 can be written as 370 and 1. So we, now we know that the square of 154 can be written as 370a plus a minus 28. So we have a factor of 10a somewhere. And using a bit of calculation, Finally, we get the square of 154 is congruent to negative 1 mod 641. Now, note that 2 to the power of 32 is actually equal to square of 154, which is equal to a negative 1 mod 641. So this means that 2 to the power of 32 plus 1 is divisible by 641. And now this end of the proof of method 1. Now we continue with a method 2. For this method, one very important observation is as follows. Note that 641 can be written as 5 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 4 
or it can be written at 5 times 2 power 7 plus 1. Please verify this result by yourself. Now with the first equation, we know that 2 to the power 4 is congruent to negative 5 to the power 4 mod 6 for 1. And for the second condition, 5 times 2 to the power 7 is congruent to negative 1 mod 6 for 1. And continue with that, we take a power 4 for both sides. We obtain 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 7 to the power 4 is negative 1 to the power 4 mod 6 for 1. Uh, using the first condition that we have, 5 to the power 4 is congruent to negative 2 to the power 4. And 2 to the power 7 to the power 4 is 2 to the power of 28. So combine this together, we have negative 2 to the power of 32 on the left hand side. And therefore, negative 2 to the power of 32 is congruent to 1 mode 6, 4, 1, which means that 2 to the power of 32 is congruent to negative 1 mode 6, 4, 1. And we have the same conclusion as previous. Note that this second method was suggested by Hadi, who is a well-known mathematician and who was also a mentor of Ramarujan. When asked in an interview what his greatest contribution to mathematics was, Hadi said that it was the discovery of Ramarujan and even called their cooperation as one of the romantic incidents in his life. Now I combine the two methods in one page and please tell me which method do you prefer? That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.